Deanna, the rain was a huge concern for this parade in West Dallas, but it ended up not being an issue here at all. It actually started raining maybe about 30 minutes or so, so well after the parade ended. And actually, when that parade wrapped up, I had people coming up to me asking me to thank Mark Baden for the beautiful weather because the annual tradition went on with no issues. Families lined the sidewalks of Greenfield Avenue for the annual Independence Day Parade in West Allis. It's a tradition for many families, including Rick Bidwell's family of six. It's a lot of fun, a lot of huge family event. My kids love it. My wife has a good time. It's a good family event. The West Allis Parade kicked off near 77th and Greenfield <laughs> with bands, floats, <laughs> And dancing. What's your favorite thing about the parade? Uh, just seeing the enjoyment on my kids' faces while they see everybody go by. What do they like the most about it? I think just the candy that gets thrown. <laughs> Is it you that likes all the candy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're already snacking. What's going on? I don't know. In chairs or standing, waving a flag or waving their hands, this is a celebration that brings in about 6,000 spectators every year. Everyone has their favorite thing about the tradition, and sometimes it's simple. Your favorite part is? Um, the candy. <laughs> Why'd you think so hard? I don't know. <laughs> And Kristen joins us once again. Uh, Kristen, the 4th of July is two days away, so what else does West Dallas have planned? They're making this a days long celebration, Patrick. Tomorrow they're having a movie night and then on Thursday for the 4th of July, they're having a day concert and a fireworks display. And just to be clear for everyone who thanked Mark Baden, I made sure that I let them know he had nothing to do with this beautiful weather. <laughs>